Hi, if God is sovereign, does that mean that we do not have free will? This is an issue that theologians have babbled about for ages. The answer actually is very straightforward. Watch this short video and at the end I'll share a passage that will really clarify the issue. It is very clear in the scriptures that God is sovereign. That's in the very definition of being God. He is all-knowing, all-powerful, and everywhere. He's our creator. Revelation 4.11 tells us that we are created for his pleasure. And Psalm 115 verse 3 tells us that God does whatever he pleases. But if God is all-powerful, does that mean that men don't have a free will? These two are many times presented as opposites, but that doesn't have to be that way. God can and will do whatever he pleases. So God can give man a free will. Let me say that again. God can give man a free will because he's sovereign. It doesn't negate his sovereignty. As a matter of fact, it really has nothing to do with it. Let me illustrate. Suppose that I were to take someone out to some ice cream place. We have lots of them here in South America. Well, I can take this person and tell them that they can order whatever they want. Of course, the person can say, but wait, you're in control of your wallet and the bill. You need to force feed me. I'll say, what does that have to do with the price of a cup of tea in China? Order whatever you want. So here I've given the choice to my guest. So God has given us the choice whether we trust him as savior or not. He is still sovereign, but he has given us free will. Jesus Christ died on the cross for everyone, including you. Watch this video for that. He took your sin, your shame, your guilt, and he took your punishment. He died on the cross and rose from the dead. Now, if you place your trust in him, you'll have eternal life or you'll go to heaven. Now for the extra. In Matthew 23 verse 37, Jesus said to the city of Jerusalem, 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 who kills the prophets and stones those who have been sent to her. How often I wanted to gather your children together, the way a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, and you were unwilling. Obviously, Christ being God could have made them come to him, but he left the choice to them. So if you haven't trusted Christ as Savior, do so right now. He died on the cross for you and wants you to be with him in heaven. For more information about that, watch this video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. And if these videos are a blessing to you, don't keep them to yourself. Share them with others so that they can also be blessed. God bless you. Bye-bye.